Welcome back, everyone, to what I do think will be the final episode of Let's Get On With It, Pirate's Gold. As such, I will be keeping the recorder going the entire way. I won't be uh, doing things like attacking Havana six times or other places six times. There was uh, some very slight audio desync towards the end of last video. And it's due to me constantly pausing and resuming the recording. I should just stop it and like start a new recording if I want to... Uh, you know, do shit like that, but then I have to do additional video editing and it takes like 10 more seconds and it pisses me off. So yeah, this is not the final video for the entire series, it's the final video for this playthrough. I'm gonna attack Ivana, hopefully capture the treasure fleet, then I'm gonna, excuse me, dig up some buried treasure, attack a few more Spanish forts, colonies, and then I'm gonna go back to St. Augustine and retire there. Okay? Okay. Oh, hey, the sound didn't glitch out. What do you know? It's beginning to look a lot like death, miss. Remember, I gotta juke this thing. Oh, goodness. Okay. Now, let's hopefully get close enough to the damn fort. There we go. Please be wielding... Not a rapier. Oh, God. Fuck. Me. And I don't have a crew advantage here, either? God damn you, game! Damn you! Damn you! Damn you! Fools! I didn't even get hit! Fuck. You! I still got it! Hell. Yes. Grim is not dead yet, bitches. He's not dead yet. I did lose some crew there. I'm okay with that. Nice! He was wielding a rapier, and he still didn't hit me! Yes! It might be hard for you to tell just how greatly pleased I am by that. Okay. Is this it? Yeah, I think so. I think that's it. Yep. So where the hell is this thing exactly? Should have uh, taken like an MS Paint image of it. Okay. So you go right about there, Theo. And... All right. Let's see if I can do that. Somewhere in this region. Ten thousand gleaming pieces of gold and silver. Not a bad haul. All right, Grimoth did it, everybody. He is an expert treasure hunter, explorer, seeker. And ten thousand's not a bad price. That's like a profit of what, ninety-five hundred, in exchange for just a little eensy beensy, eensy, itsy bitsy, teeny weeny uh, trip over there to dig it up. Not that hard. <laughs> not that hard at all, man. Back in the day, I could have made it just fuck. I could have just made like a fucking profit. Like, as a pirate, I could have just d dug up the buried treasures of others. Didn't need to actually attack anybody. I'd be the one who was getting attacked. Hopefully, I'd be able to outrun it, everybody. Hello, Spanish. Let's rock. Let's rock. Now, let's not get too arrogant. Although he's not wielding a uh, a, la a rapier. It's like, let's not get too arrogant here. By the way, this is being French again. Just so you know. Who's next? I guess I'll go visit Eleuthera. I could attack Nassau, but nah. Okay, this is... St. Augustine is still under control of the French. Good. That's the way it needs to be. Now, imagine navigating these things uh, with a big ship. I, like I've said before, I think, in a prior video, I've done it before. <laughs> it's kind of fun, especially if you use save states to make sure you don't crash in anything and lose like 900,000 gold pieces. That can be fun and entertaining, and it is possible to weave your way through some of that shit. You just have such a narrow window in which to do it. You gotta be careful. It can definitely be uh, entertaining. Nope. 
All right, let's do this shit. Okay, a cutlass. This is going my speed. Here we go. I can do this. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! You know, it's kind of funny how the guy with the cutlass is hitting me the most. And he is the guy who needs to be hitting me the least. Because he... Wow. The guy with the cutlass is going to beat me. Stop what you do, sir. Stop it. I was kind of worried there for a little minute. A little minute? Yeah, I say little minute. A little bit. A little bit, a little minute. But then I stopped being so worried. And everything worked out. Hooray! Okay. Has my vengeance overtaken, uh, my foes yet? <laughs> else can I attack? I don't feel like attacking there. I already tried attacking there and I couldn't take it back. You know, this might actually be it for me. Every, play el every place else is just too damn far away. Yep, I think this is it. So let's go uh, witness the greatness of this final place to which I'm retiring. That's Nombre de Dios, which I won't be retiring at. Lucera? Nope. I sound definitely no. Grand Bahama? Don't know jack about that. St. Augustine? Currently surviving. I don't have a prosperous or wealthy port at which to retire. I'll make it prosperous and wealthy, I'm sure, courtesy of the fact that I am such a badass. You know, on the bright side, at least storms don't damage your sails in this game. That is pretty damn useful, although if they blow you into shallow water... And you have a big ship. Just the same, if not worse. Actually, it's definitely worse. Alright, St. Augustine, it's been like fucking forever since I visited you. What is shaking? Do, 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 do. Hello. Nice to see you. Been a long time. June 1568. I've been sailing for eight years, folks. This is going to be my last trip. Might as well sell all my ships, except for one. And I might as well sell all of my food. If I can. I sure cannot. And that's actually a decent price. I read, I withdraw with 90, 90 crew? Ah, That's a lot of crew. Ah. They'll have bad shares. Ah, I can't do that. My dear Marquis Ripa, we are allied with the Dutch, and we are at war with the Spanish. Oh, they're no longer at war with the English anymore. Huh. In recognition of your service to the French crown, I confer upon you the title of Duke. I thought I could be a Duke. Good. Oh, hey, information. The treasure fleet's in Spain. Silver train is in Coro. I can't make it down there in time. Hello! What's going on in the world? New governor of Villa Villahermoso. Holland and England make peace. Okay. I think Duke is the final title, though. Uh, I hope. <laughs> I am a Duke. Duke, 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 Duke of France. Duke, Duke, Duke of France. And I'm only in fair health now. Oof. We took a hit there. I have 90 crew, though! <laughs> Unacceptable! I can't retire with 90 crew! That's bullshit! I gotta get some of these bastards killed! <laughs> it won't affect my shares, but it'll affect their individual shares, and I want one more shot at the Silver Drain. One more. One more. One more shot. One more chance. Or, you know, let's get into a really, really big fight. I only have one vessel. And I gotta get some of these guys killed. Come on, really big fight. I'll, I'll take a I'll take a galleon fight right now. Oh god, that's a terrible idea. Don't say that, Grimace. You'll fucking 
go fucking find a galleon with 300 crew and a rapier wielding captain. There's no way in hell. Take it back, Griffith. Take it back. <laughs> oh, I'll go. I'll just go attack Puerto uh, the PP. Yeah, just go attack there. I'll go attack the PP with my penis. I don't think that's how that works, Griffith. Yeah, well, nobody asked you. Shut the fuck up. Do 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 do. Yeah, the silver train's just too far away. I don't think no. No. My days of silver train hunting are behind me. I captured it multiple times. I'm a success story. What do we have to look forward to here? I can't tell. <laughs> That's a great story. Watch. I'll actually have the opportunity to show off what the fuck a cavalry look like, and they will own my soul. And then I'll have to bravely run away. Okay, it was in Koro at this point. Yeah, it'd be at Panama or past that. Just can't, uh, just can't rely on that. Aw, uh, it's so much easier to get down in here, folks. Sail, ho! Sail, no. What the hell is, like, a galleon doing all the fucking way in here? What the hell? How did it make it in here? I can teleport it. Okay, bitches. Let's fight. Oh, no. Apparently, we are not going... Ah, here we go. Here is a cool scenery. A cool scenic duel here. You don't get to see this landscape much. And, uh, this is... This is an even fight. Uh, the guy with a longsword is, uh... A bit faster than me, I would dare say. Especially whenever I'm frozen in indecision. Not me frozen in decision personally, but my character, who's at fair health now. Swashbuckler difficulty. Yeah, recovering from, from hits for him takes like four seconds. Some of them anyway. It's just uh, impossible for him to swing. And uh, then death occurs. Phew. Ended up using most of my food. How are we looking here now in terms of crew? We really didn't lose a whole lot to get all the way down here to attack this. Duh. Duh. Oh, God. This is probably a terrible idea. I say this knowing that it's probably a terrible idea. But I'm feeling a little arrogant. This is a bad idea. Will you stop attacking in the middle there? It's kind of like the place which I want to attack because it's the quickest oh, for me. Stop doing that. Okay. I'm not going to attack more than that. Ah. Ah. Uh, I don't think I can talk myself into it. <laughs> How is a galleon right here? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. This game is unrealistic. <laughs> I guess I'll get into one final ship combat. Uh... Sure. One final ship combat. No cannons. So I can't weaken this vessel. Oh boy. Oh goodness! <laughs> Gotta go out with a hurrah here! Oh, I don't have enough room! Shit! I don't have enough room! <laughs> Panic! 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 <laughs> I am not surrendering so easily to you, you young, swashbuckling, rapier wheeling son of a bitch. You must not know who I am. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you. Take it, I could sell the ship. Sure, let's sell it. For a moment, I thought that I was like frozen in like shallow water there. I was like, this is a terrible idea. Nope, but I was about to be. <laughs> okay, we're down to 68 crew. Oh man, that was exciting, everybody. Riveting! Riveting! And now I have some cannon. Ah, fuck it. That was excitement enough for me, everyone. 
I'm done. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. We're done. <laughs> That's enough of a voyage. We got, what, 22 people killed? That's good enough. I had like 90. I'm at like 68 now. <laughs> Don't you fucking do that to me! <laughs> clouds. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure whether that voyage was actually worth it, everyone. But, uh, yeah. We get to see a last little bit of combat there. Eh, I'm still fine. I'm actually a notorious swashbuckler now. Sweet. So there was one final step. I wasn't wrong. It took forever for me to earn it. But I did it. Yes! I did it. I did it. I did it. Yay! I went and stabbed the Spanish Armada in the face. I did it. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> That's enough. Land ho. Land ho, indeed. I guess it's a good thing I didn't sell all of my food in retrospect. Because whenever I left here... Uh, to go attack someplace, like maybe the Silver Train. Didn't I try to sell all of my food? I just remembered that. I guess it's a good thing that didn't happen after all, huh? <laughs> okay. We'll sell all the food this time, though. You don't have any more promotions for me, do you? Okay, good. Silver Trains in Cartagena. Eh, perhaps I could have made it. Okay. Are you sure you want to divide the plunder? Yes. The plunder is counted and divided. Each crew member's share comes to 4,380 gold pieces. That's uh, less than one-tenth of the amount of gold that was handed out in my first five years. The crew feels happy with their portion, though, because that's kind of awesome, and I didn't get more of them killed. As swashbuckler captain of the party, you receive eight officers' portions, totaling 74,380 gold pieces. As you can see, and as I definitely showed you before, uh, it's, I explained, your portions are taken out before the rest of the crew gets theirs. So, uh, killing more of the crew... Uh, not exactly beneficial for that. I do plan to retire from privateering, however. I think that's it for Duke Grimmeth. I am sure. The Further Adventures of the Pirate Reaper. You achieve the title of an English colonel and a French duke, making you an extremely important member of your community. You accumulated 288,210 gold pieces, and 11,700 acres of land during your career, making you an extremely wealthy man. Your exploits on the high seas give you a reputation as a fearless captain. That is definitely true. Even against rapier wielders, man. You retired at the age of 33. Your wife is an exciting and beautiful woman. You rescued four members of your family. In the course of your travels, you have become a happy man. You completed all ten of the pirate quests. Pirate points 199 out of 100. Rank King's Advisor. The King of France has issued to you the title of Prince. You return to France, a hero. The lure of the sea is strong, and you may still have a few good years left in you. Will you remain in retirement, or return to the pirate life? The fucking king of France made me a fucking prince. Fuck the Spanish main. I'm going back home. Do you wish to have your exploits recorded in the Pirate Hall of Fame? Sure. There I am. King's Advisor Reaper. Score 199 out of 100. <laughs> Not so bad, huh? Original design and programming? Sid Meier. Additional original design was made by Arnold Hendrick. Ah, I gotta go ahead and read the credits. You guys can read that on your own. That was Pirate's Gold, everybody. A wonderful and very enjoyable game. 
played on the hardest difficulty and an admittedly challenging time period, as you all got the witness. Uh, on Swashbuckler, you do not have that much time, even using wit and medicine, before your character begins to basically fall apart. Um, in terms of fencing, I presume that uh, using the uh, having the fencing special ability would give you an easier time there. But I was I was in fair health at 33. Uh, I just entered fair health. Um, to not have wit and medicine, you might have been like in the middle or perhaps towards the end of fair health after eight years, and you'd be looking at poor health in that situation. Hello, lady. There you go. Hello, lady. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this game. It's so sexist, isn't it? Well, it is a game about pirates. You really expect pirates not to be sexist? Come on. Yeah, that's a screen that you'd see if I got imprisoned, which never happened. Thankfully. I can't believe that. Went through this entire game without getting imprisoned once. I didn't get marooned on an island? That's a black governor, by the way. Yes, they can be black. It's okay. <laughs> Cutting edge, I know, for 1568, as it was at the time. And that takes care of it, everyone. Pirate's gold. Now, uh, I may uh, come back to this game in the future. I may show off one of the historical expeditions, or I may show off a different uh, historical period. But if I do, it will be on a much lower difficulty, possibly even Apprentice. Uh, which, you know, although it provides for less gold, you can pretty much have your run of the place. You capture a lot more places. and You know, uh, for as difficult as uh, 1560 is... Um, in some senses, it's actually easier than a later difficulty. The reason for that is uh, France never made peace with Spain the entire time. And I was pretty much able to beat on Spain the entire game and uh, achieve rank-ups for it. Later on, with all four nations uh, in the Spanish main and with Spain losing power, you can have situations where there are no wars at all making it extremely difficult for you to advance in ranks. Uh, there are situations where you might end up backstabbing your home nation, you know, you know, harvest land acreage from everywhere if you can, and, you know, stuff like that. Of course, do keep in mind that on lower difficulties, you don't get as much of the plunder as you do on Swashbuckler. That was a lot of fucking loot I had. Ah. Uh. And, uh, I didn't do it entirely without, uh, save states. You guys saw me like, nope, that's not happening a few times. <laughs> and, you know, uh, let's see if the treasure fleet's actually here. Ha <laughs> ha, this is totally not suspicious of me at all. <laughs> uh, completely innocent intentions, I assure you. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed the game, though. Of course, there are many of you who are like, Oh, the 2000... You know, I had PMs about that. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? This is the game I want to play. Suck my cock. Suck my penis. <laughs> but I'll see you all with whatever I decide to record next. Until then, folks. Bye!